Hi, I'm Mark, and I'll give you a brief overview of the new Alexa software update packet 9.0. In the course of our everyday work, we talk to a lot of our customers. We talk to rental houses, we talk to cameramen, to camera assistants, to rental house technicians, to directors, to DPs, and we collect the feedback, what they tell us about what they want to have changed in the Alexa. We collect all that feedback into long lists, prioritize those, and then we pick the features that we think will give you the most value on the set and implement them in new software updates. In software update 9.0, we have six new feature blocks, and I'll start with the first one, which concerns ProRes. In ProRes, we now have the ability to record ProRes 4x4 up to 120 frames a second, so all the way to the top speed of the Alexa in ProRes 4x4 onto XR capture drives or CFAS 2.0 cards. Additionally, we've implemented a feature that specifically the nature photographers have asked us to implement, which is called pre-recording. Now, how does pre-recording work? If you, let's say, have an owl and it's sitting there on the branch and you're waiting impatiently for that owl to take off, you would turn pre-recording on you sit there, you wait for the owl to take off, and the Alexa would continuously use the media to record actually the footage. Once the owl takes off, you hit the record button, the Alexa starts recording normally, but takes a certain number of seconds that have happened before you put the record button and adds it to the recording. Thus, you can actually capture an event after it happened. You can capture the time before you push the record button. Now, how does this work? How do you set it up in the camera? You would go to the camera menu, Go to the recording, so you select recording, then you select internal recording, and internal recording, the fourth item from the top is pre-record. You go into the pre-record menu, you first turn pre-record on, and then you can set how much capacity on your recording medium you would actually use for the pre-recording. I have set 220 megabytes here. My options are 220, 660, or 1,100 megabytes. If we go all the way to the top, at the current codec with the current frames per second rate, we're going to get 21 seconds of pre-recording time. Depending on the frames per second or the codec, you can get up to about a minute of pre-recording time with the Alexa. The second feature block concerns DNxHD. We now have DNxHD running on all the Alexas, the Alexa Classic as well as the Alexa XT cameras, and we've finally added DNxHD 444. This is a very high quality codec that you can use to master in DNxHD. I'll show you how to turn that on on the camera here. You again go into the menu. There you choose the first item called recording. You choose the first item called internal. And then in the first item that says mode, you choose your codec family. So we have ProRes, DNxHD, and AriRAW available. I'll choose DNxHD. And then in the menu below that, I can choose which of the DNxHD codecs I want to use. And here I've already chosen DNxHD 444. This is what is new now with the Alexa. The third feature of Software Update 9.0 is the open gate mode. That is something relatively new. We didn't know if we were going to put it in Software Update 10 or Software Update 9. It finally made it in the 9. And with Alexa XT cameras, and it only works with Alexa XT cameras, it allows you to record every single photo cell on the Alexa sensor. That is 3,414 by 2,198 actual photo cells. You would do that if you want to shoot something and then do some repositioning. You may want to do some reframing, some image stabilization, or image rotating. It's great for that. It's also great for doing an up res to 4K, or if you want to hide some visual effects markers in the edges of the frame. And again, that only works with the Alexa XT camera. There's no upgrade available from Alexa Classic cameras to get you open gate mode. The fourth feature is something we call self-healing metadata. This is actually an improvement to an already existing great feature. On the Alexa camera, if your battery goes down and the recording stops because the battery goes down, in the past, the Alexa would make sure that all the footage you recorded is safe. So on the card, you have all the footage, all the audio and all the video that you recorded, totally safe. You can download it. Everything is fine. That's a great feature of the Alexa. Now, however, the metadata sometimes did get scrambled, and that meant you couldn't record anymore onto this card. What we're doing now is if the camera detects such a card, it analyzes the video and the audio, and based on that, reconstructs the metadata so you can still use that card and still record to that card. Next are a number of lens data system features. 
We now support not only the ARRI LDS lenses, but also Cook slash I lenses. So from both of those lens types, we take the lens information and record it in all the metadata places where we record metadata to make post much, much easier. Additionally, we support the new Allura um, lens extenders that allow you to get a little more telephoto with the Allura lenses. The Alexa knows the extenders there and records the proper lens metadata. And then we also have something we call the lens data source switch. This allows you to choose if you take the lens data from the encoder built into the lens or if you take it from the encoder built into the lens motor. And finally, we have some new operational options. Most exciting of that is the phase button. The phase button allows you to change the phase relationship between a monitor, for instance, and the Alexa, so you can remove the black bar that you sometimes see on a monitor. That also works great with a rear screen projector. The phase button is a user button. In the user menu, you can set the phase button to be one of the six user buttons on the Alexa. Then we have improved the working of the WCU4 with the Alexa. There are some more options on the WCU4 now. And we have changed the center dot there's a new option for the center dot, which is a small center dot. So this is what the large center dot looks like, and then this is what the small center dot looks like. So this was an overview of the new features of Software Update Package 9.0, which brings great new features to the Alexa and makes working with the Alexa much easier and much more powerful. Thank you very much for watching.